Neil Carlson here at 4.30 a.m. on a Wednesday, and Donald Trump is the projected president-elect. Uh, Wisconsin votes just coming in now, putting him at 277 electoral votes, 270 needed to win. He is the projected uh, winner here. We'll look at uh, North Dakota uh, voting Trump uh, 68% to 31%. Over in Minnesota, Harris won 51% to 47%. Uh, but nationwide, America went red uh, with Donald Trump now at uh, 4.30 a.m. with uh, 277 electoral votes for the win and Harris at 224. Take a look at the popular vote here, 65,800,000 uh, to Trump's 670 million, 800 and some thousand. So again, uh, Trump is the uh, president-elect. Take a quick look here at the uh, Senate vote across the uh, country. Again, you're looking at a New York Times map. At this point, it's there's more vote to count across the country, but uh, Republicans leading in the Senate, 51 to 42 for the Democrats, and in the House. Uh, Republicans, 196. Democrats, 176. But again, the final, uh, the projected winner in the presidential race, Donald Trump getting 277 uh, electoral votes at 4.30 a.m. here to Kamala Harris's 224. Still votes to count in uh, Maine and Michigan, Arizona and Nevada. But the uh, latest Wisconsin vote uh, puts him on top. The first uh, president since uh, Grover, Grover Cleveland to leave office and come back for the win. I'm Neil Carlson reporting for inews.tv.